Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to share a post review with you guys on one of the kits that I worked on in March. I am way behind on post reviews. I Unfortunately, this one just kept getting shoved and shoved and shoved. So here we are in like the middle of April with this post review. But this is called Angel Dream from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Evito Works. It is a... What is this kit? 56 by 71 centimeter round drill. Unfortunately, this kit is discontinued, so you will not be able to purchase it from directly from Diamond Art Club, but it may come up in a, a D-Stash group or something like that over on Facebook. So if you're interested, make sure you keep an eye out in um, those places. But let's go ahead and talk about it because I have some serious thoughts about this one. Um, obviously this piece has a very special meaning to me, so while I am going to be talking about things that I didn't really enjoy with this kit, just know that overall, um, I enjoy the image. I love the image. It holds a lot of meaning to me personally, so I still love this kit and this result. However, it was a struggle to get through. Um, I talked about this a little bit in a whip and chat a couple of weeks ago. I think I was on the last section of this particular kit when I filmed that video and I had kind of expressed some of my concerns, um, but we're going to talk about them a little bit more in depth in this video. So this kit took me a very, very long time. <laughs> And a lot of that is because this kit is very, very confetti heavy. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a full length image here so that you guys can see that um, because you're kind of just seeing the woman and the baby here. And I will say that this was quite a bit of color blocking in this area, but the perimeter of this painting was so confetti heavy. I was so over it by the end. Um, I also had quite a few issues with the drill field itself. Now, I have not had this kit for very long. Um, I would have purchased it at some point last summer after July. Um, I can't remember exactly when I ordered it. I want to say I picked it up in August. Um, obviously, it's discontinued now, so it was some a, a bit ago at least. But I want to say I picked it up sometime in August and... So it hasn't been in my stash very long. However, I don't know how long it sat in Diamond Art Club's warehouse before I purchased it. So it could have been sitting around for a while, but the drill field, the adhesive, the poured glue was not good. <laughs> it was uh, very troublesome. Um, I had to switch to using regular, I think I used ended up using blue wax in my multi-placer because the drill field like would not grab the drills when I had putty in my multi-placer. So, and it's a putty that I use often. And while I know it's very good and it has a lot of stick to it, I very rarely have an issue where the drills don't come off of the multi-placer. And when that does happen, it ends up being a poured glue or drill field issue rather than a putty issue. So that was very frustrating. It was even an issue with just a single placer. I would go to put a drill down and the drill just wouldn't come off of the pen. And I did try different waxes and putties in both my single and multi placer. And there were just too many that I was having that issue with for it to be an item specific problem, if that makes sense. Like it was definitely the drill field. There just either wasn't enough glue, it hadn't cured the right amount of time, or maybe it cured too much before they put the plastic on. I don't know precisely the ins and outs of the process, so I can't tell you for sure which one I think it is, but it was definitely something with the glue, whether it was in the manufacturing time or if it was just in the sitting in the warehouse time, sitting in my stash time, I don't know for sure. Um, I also had some issues with the drills. Now, not necessarily with the drill quality, 
but I ran out of two colors, 948 and 3856, and I ran out of them pretty early on. Um, I think I still had the whole top row to work on and I had run out of these two colors. Um, I did end up having them in my stash, so I did not reach out to Diamond Art Club. Um, I didn't reach out to Diamond Art Club at all in regards to this kit, not because, I didn't think it was worth it, but this kit is discontinued. Um, I know had I reached out to Diamond Art Club that they would have done the right thing because I've dealt with them before on situations. I just really wanted to finish this kit. I didn't want to wait around for replacement drills or they wouldn't have replaced the kit because it's discontinued, but I just didn't want to wait. I really wanted to just keep moving through this one and get it done. So it's been a while since I've run out of a color, especially from Diamond Art Club, but it did happen. Um, also, um, let's see. I don't think, yeah, I didn't have very much trash. Let me just take a look at the drills here before we talk about that. Um, if you see an empty pot, it's because um, there were two of that particular color. Um, so it was really just a few specific colors that I ran out of. Um, but I did feel like it was a little light on um, extra drills, which is kind of something that I feel like is just a thing with the newer kits from Diamond Art Club. I feel like we just get fewer drills to begin with, which is totally fine with me because it's less waste, which is great. But when I run out of a color, that can be a little <laughs> discouraging. Um, as far as my trash, I'll show you. I was pretty happy with the drill quality overall. Um, I just had some holes in the tops. I had some that were stuck together, just some little random extra pieces, but nothing that I was too concerned about in terms of trash drills, which was great. And yeah, and in terms of things that I enjoyed with this kit, while I didn't love the process, like I mentioned before, I do love the finished result. I think the rendering is very cool. I like how the perimeter turned out. I'll pop a picture up here again, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, I do like how the background came together. I think the confetti, the confetti definitely lent itself to that rendering, um, which obviously if you want a super clear rendering, the more confetti, the better. Um, I just, it was deceiving, like looking at this kit and preparing to work on it was deceiving. I was like, this is going to be great. Sure. There's color blocking confetti, but it doesn't look too bad. No. <laughs> There was a lot of confetti. Um, I loved working on the, the focal piece here. Um, I feel like this turned out really well. I like the shading and everything. Um, so yeah, overall, I love it. Didn't necessarily love the process, but I do love the finished result. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this kit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to frame it or what I'm going to do with it. But I am really happy that I completed it in March. I don't know that it's a kit I would do again, but um, I am glad that I worked on it. In terms of my accessories, my tray. So I went for very St. Patrick's Day themed items because I was working on this kit during the St. Patrick's Day holiday. Um, I mentioned in a whip and chat earlier in the month of March that my nanny, my grandmother passed away on St. Patrick's Day and she was very like, I don't want to say gaudy, but she was <laughs> like, if there was a holiday, she was going all out no matter what. So if it was St. Patrick's Day, you know, she would have on like costume jewelry and a pin and all that fun stuff. So I decided that I wanted to just pay a little homage to my nanny and use all St. Patrick's Day themed items. So while they don't necessarily match the kit <laughs> like I tend to normally do, um, I did really enjoy them and they just, it was like a little, a little ode to my grandmother. So my tray is from Tori's Diamond Tools on Etsy. My pen is from Peachy Keen Pens. Um, this one is, I think it was actually called something Patty. I can't remember. It was 
it was released for like a St. Patrick's Day themed pen and I do really love it. I love the glitters. I used the putty from Excuse Me Designs in the scent Clover. I actually really enjoyed this one. I think it smells really good. And then my cover minder is not St. Patrick's Day themed, but it is a wing. This kit is called Angel Dream. Um, this, unfortunately, this shop has closed. It was from an Etsy shop called Lilac Dragon Handmade. I purchased this at some point in early 2022, I want to say. So unfortunately, that shop is not open, which is a bummer because they had really cute stuff. But um, that is the cover minder. So this is Angel Dream. Again, it's from Diamond Art Club and Avita Works. It is a, what did I say it was? 56 by 71 centimeter round drill. Oh, I forgot to show you my washi tape. It's nothing too special, but it's this shiny green from Amanda Michelle Designs. So I will link all of these small shops down below. Unfortunately, I can't link this kit because it is discontinued. Um, I do have an affiliate link down below for Diamond Art Club if you're interested, if you're making your first purchase. Um, my link and code, I think, will get you 15% if I'm not mistaken. All that information is down in the description box. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye!